Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So, I'm gonna have a very special video for you to watch, which you're watching now. And it's gonna be a what I eat and do in a day video with Lovely Knock, who you can see there. And we both are currently in quite a high carbohydrate vegan diet at the moment. No longer eating vegan keto. We're not sure what we're gonna eat, but we know what we're gonna get up to today, at least some of the day. A Songkra, which is a Thai celebration for the new year. So, there is loud speakers everywhere. There is people partying down every street that you can imagine. Water being thrown everywhere, water pistols. It's literally like a water festival, you could say. We're gonna get guns. We're gonna get the Songkra shirts as well, do you reckon? Yeah, look for like, Danny. For yeah, you, you can yeah, look like we're from Hawaii. <laughs> so yeah, we hope you are gonna enjoy this little adventure with us. You see, we just got covered in water. It's absolutely fun. We've got the iPhone XS here because it's waterproof. So that's good. Definitely not bringing it out the big camera because it'll just get destroyed. But yeah, she wants some glasses because she's getting water all in her eyes. <laughs> Look, looking good. All the kids on the block are going to want that. Only the cool kids have that. And yeah, we're looking for specific things such as water pistols and a Hawaiian flowery shirt. So we'll see what we can find. But yeah. Having so much fun already. Where's that shirt? I definitely need one of these shirts. Uh, see, I have magic skills. So yeah, we got the shirt. Now we just need to find a water pistol. Gone somewhere else to get water pistols. We've got such an array of water pistols and they fill it up here. Not wearing those glasses. <laughs> we just bought, obviously, biggest the biggest one. one possible. And this lovely lady's sorting this out for us. And yeah, we're looking forward to trying out this big boy. <laughs> So that was a lot of good fun, really loud music. I actually am not put the music in the clips because I'll get a copyright strike. Yeah, but really wet. Yeah, it's good fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really fun. It's fun to interact with strangers and throw water in their face. Yeah, and play around with children, <laughs> adults, all yeah. types of people from all walks of life. So that was good fun. So now I'm back. She started getting hungry, I wasn't getting hungry, but mm. yeah, we thought we'd come back. I need to charge some things because the GoPro batteries died. Maybe we go out again. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. It yeah. will get busier so, yeah, later. We're going to dry ourselves off and then start um, getting some things to eat and we'll show you what we're going to have to break our daily in a minute. 
fast. First off, which this is what we do 90% of the time or so, or I pretty much do all the time, but she doesn't all the time, is have some coconut water. You normally have a bigger knife than this to open it, but I actually don't mind using this one. And there's a specific way to cut it. Make sure you cut it in like a diamond shape. So then you can drink it out of the corner without a straw, rather than having it completely round. And yeah, I have years of experience. It's easy to open. And she's gonna have that one. I'm gonna have these two. Man, I feel sorry for people on the keto diet. They can't have this. It's just so sweet. It's so mineral dense, so good at hydrating you, and super, super tasty. Mm. So refreshing. You have to make sure it's cold as well. It's best if you keep it in the fridge. It Why? It makes it more sweet for me. Mm. Like you said, well, Danny said it tastes like vanilla ice cream. Yeah, so good. <laughs> Oh, and for anyone wondering, how long I fast did for? It was for 17 hours and 25 minutes. You use an app called My Fast, and I highly recommend that you do use this. She fasted for around 17 hours because she finished about half an hour after me. And yeah, I thought I'd show you these. These are raw vegan snicker bars. And if you want the recipe for these, we're gonna do a video for them soon. But I tell you, these are super, super divine. And also, what have you got here? It's just the energy bars. Let's show yeah. them up close. It just um like oats, coconut, date, and you know uh, superfood stuff, berries, raisins. All high protein. Berries. Yeah, very high calorie dense yeah. as well, high protein. Yeah. While that coconut is going down, I am gonna start editing this video that will actually be posted before this vlog. And this is me interviewing my friend Matt yesterday about his journey with one minute a day over the last eight months. So yeah, I'm gonna get on with this. And shortly after, I will eat some other food. It's now around 20 minutes later, and I did all the description and the title and tags of the video. I still gotta do the thumbnail, and then I've gotta upload it, which is rendering now. It didn't take me long because we had no cuts. So just need to chop off the start and the end. And I've got some leftover durian. Which you don't know about this, it's known as the world's smelliest fruit or the king of fruits. It's one of the most highly prized fruits in the world and it grows in an abundance in Thailand. And this is the Chani variety. That's what it looks like inside. It looks ooey gooey gooey. Some people say it's a bit like chicken. That's what it looks like up close. This one has got a chewy skin. And it's just soft and creamy. You actually got like two C's next to each other. But yeah, I see why people think it's a bit like chicken. Oh, so I also wanted to mention is these Vibrams. If you haven't seen me wear them before, I only wear five finger Vibrams. A lot of people say they're really bad for you and they can damage your knees and legs and stuff. But that's only if you're not used to using them for running. If you go and get these and you've been wearing normal shoes for years and you go and run in these, you're going to destroy your feet. So I walked in these for months and months and months before I ran in them when I used to run. And it's just one of the most best shoes you can have. The zero drop shoes. You don't have this platform underneath that's raising your heel up and actually have a negative effect on your posture. That's always well wearing. So yeah, I'm going to continue on with this. Nox not going to have any. She's not hungry yet. And she's not that keen on doing either. That's it pretty much done. I'd prefer to eat more, I haven't got more now. I'll give this a bit of time. Then I will make a high protein vegan smoothie. I wonder if that knock is being as productive as me. Oh. Hi! Hello. <laughs> what are you up to? A very important stuff. What's that? Facebook. Oh. <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> oh, just chilling out. I'm tired from the water fight. It takes yeah. a lot of energy. Yeah. And I trained yesterday, so my legs are really tired. Yeah, okay, so I'll do all the hard work and you can just take it easy. Yeah, well, you choose to work, I don't, so. <laughs> <laughs> just got back, we actually went out. We didn't make a clip to tell you that, but I didn't feel it was necessary. We was gonna do some drone footage of the Songkra event, but the drone's not working. 
and having some issues with my phone. So yeah, we're back now. We went to go and get ice cream or instead of having what I'm about to have now. But yeah, I'm gonna show you the things that are like the supplements and protein powders that I'm gonna to add to my smoothie and then Nock will feel me actually adding the fruit and other various things that I'm gonna add. So yeah, I'll give you a quick show of these. So I'm gonna add some Lugol's iodine which is an essential mineral which gives optimal thyroid function. Uh, it's key for thyroid hormone production. Add some Redmond's unrefined ancient fine sea salt, which has pretty much every trace mineral in it. And I'll just put a little bit of that in. I'm gonna put about 25 milligrams of the iodine. Half a tablespoon of organic raw cacao powder. Around a tablespoon is pure Hawaiian spirulina. It's one of the best in the world we can buy. Five grams of creatine, around 20 grams of this couple of tablespoons or so of this pea protein isolate. In total, the whole smoothie will have around 40 grams of protein. So yeah, I'm gonna get these all out and then get the rest of the things I need to add to make it. Okay, so at the moment I'm not tracking anything. I was for a while, but now I'm not. So I just estimate. So yeah, we've got this unsweetened almond milk, which is by 137 degrees, which is quite a popular brand of almond milk and I just guesstimate how much to put in there but I normally add around the same amount. Then we've got some frozen mulberries. Again, just throwing in whatever I think is a good amount for me to have. Yeah, which that would be good. And one frozen banana which I just peeled. It took me a while to do that because it's best to actually peel them then put them in the freezer. And actually by freezing it, it gives you such a more creamier smoothie this is way tastier. Then we got these dates, which I'd normally pre-soak them for a few hours before putting them in. Makes them easy to blend and just makes them taste better, to be honest. So yeah, for these, they got seeds in. They're not seedless dates at all. And these just add a nice bit of sweetness to it. I make sure to not add too many, otherwise it's gonna be insanely sweet. And yeah, it may not be like super, super high calorie, but it's got a very good amount of protein in it makes you feel good. And I'm adding all different superfoods and other different things so I can make sure that I'm hitting every single different micronutrient I need rather than just focusing on macronutrients, which a lot of people do because my main focus in life is to optimize my health, wellness, vitality, and longevity. And then the iodine is gonna be dropped in there. I'm gonna put three drops of this in. One, two, three, actually let's go for four. It's actually a bit later in the day than I'm normally having this, so this is an energizer. And with all the supplements, I always put them in the lid, because if I just throw them in, it's gonna stick all to the side if I throw them in before I start blending. So what I actually do is keep the lid off and make sure it's not on the highest setting, make sure it's on the lowest setting. Otherwise, it's gonna go and go everywhere. I learned that mistake years ago. is it done. And then yeah, I had an issue with the glass jar that I wanted then it had some tap water in, which I do not want in me. And it normally fills up to around the top. So yeah, pretty good going today. And I always rinse out the jug with a bit of almond milk afterwards, make sure I get everything out. That's it, done. Mm. That's really good to me, got a nice amount of sweetness. Not too sweet, got that really nice protein powder taste. It does have that protein powder texture to it, which I actually like, that slight graininess. Got a bit of banana kick, very well balanced. So yeah, I'm gonna have this, and not gonna have something shortly, and then we'll possibly go out to the beach, I think. What's in your one? Banana date, matcha, spirina, sea salt, cinnamon. Yours looks more green like mine, it's like the Incredible Hulk juice. Mm. It's very thick and creamy compared to mine. Mm. Our milk as well. And actually, how does it taste? Good. It's like matcha latte. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the jar's almost as big as your head. <laughs> so where are you off to? Beach. And who's coming with you? You. Uh, what type of beach is it? A special beach? We go to the place called Sand Beach, but if you walk further out, it's nude. Nude yeah, beach. Nude beach yeah. But mm. yeah, it's not advertiser friendly. We will show you some of the beach, but not naked people. <laughs> I was allowed to, I would, but yeah. I don't think they'd probably appreciate it anyway, even if it was so loud. And we have just arrived at the beach. 
and we got absolutely soaked multiple times on the way here and yeah I just wanted to be transparent with you I've had many different challenges today last night I had hardly any sleep because I had mosquito bites that itching me so much even though I wasn't itching them so I barely slept at all then my iPhone XS which I spent about a thousand dollars on has just seemed to have broken and then the drone not working <laughs> and then there's been a few other mishaps so it's like oh man and especially when I've had lack of sleep it's just like I just find things a bit harder <sighs> Just one of those days. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not gonna let it ruin the rest of my day. That's what I just said to myself before we were leaving. I was like, just get out, get into nature, get calmer and relax. How are you feeling? I'm tired too. <laughs> and yeah, this is the view to the beach. She's looking beautiful. Especially that Thai girl in front of us as well. Paradise. Right, I'm trying to look around for a mermaid. I reckon there might be one around me somewhere. Maybe over there? No. Over there? Hey, wait a minute. What's that? That looks like a mermaid. Where did you come from? Carrot. Carrot? <laughs> carrot where? Carrot Town. Carrot Town. I don't think there's Carrot Town in the sea somehow. Who's this strange person on the Bye -bye. beach wearing a raincoat? I don't think I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I reckon she's naked underneath. What do you reckon after getting off the nudist beach? Uh, all my clothes are wet. <laughs> it's from the Sankaran. I don't want to put wet clothes back no, on. I don't blame you. <laughs> look at this lovely, beautiful dog that I see on the beach very often. It's so beautiful. I love these types of dogs. I want a dog one day, when the time is right. Where are we off to now? What time is it? No idea, I think it's really late, maybe six. No, I think it's, it's dinner o'clock time. Okay. <laughs> maybe you're right. <laughs> oh, for sure, we go and get to She's dinner. meant to play along then, but she didn't get what I was doing, but that's no, all good. So yeah, we're going to go. I'm really hungry, that's why. Yeah. My brain doesn't function well. We go to a restaurant <laughs> and see what we can find. Yeah. So we are here at Eco Vegan Restaurant. I'm just bumped into someone I haven't seen for a long time. So we're sitting with some friends there. Well, I... The Knox there, you can see. So what have you got there? I got the Burmese salad with brown rice. Very good, very refreshing. Potato. And the sauce? Just, and this is the garlic mayo that they make. Ah, so it tastes good? Yeah, very good. Yeah, very filling, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I have the really unhealthy dish, which is the cheesy kebab chip bowl, which has got meaty mushrooms on, ketchup, yeah. some sort of cheesy vegan saucy thing, uh, with like wedding fries. It's pretty unhealthy, but we pretty bad calories on this meal. And also, I have this Burmese fermented tea leaf salad with rice. And yeah, that sauce is definitely not cheese on top of the wedges. It's more like a garlic onion sauce. So I don't know what happened to it being a cheese grab chip bomb. The cheese seemed to have disappeared. Maybe they ate it. Maybe they didn't want to give it to me. Who knows? So this lovely lady actually discovered the cheese. <laughs> so we give her a star for that one. It's hiding under there somewhere. <laughs> we ended up talking to friends for ages, which we didn't plan to meet. And that was really, really good. I haven't seen these people for ages. And then, I saw someone in there that knows me for YouTube, so they talked to me for ages and just got carried away a conversation at that kebab chip bomb, which the sauce was way too much for me, like so empowering. But yeah, I find when I connect with people in a very deep way and it's very nourishing for me and fulfilling, my desire for food is way less. So yeah, that will be eaten tomorrow. She's almost done. It's good? Yeah. Yeah. 
Are you gonna, you gonna get anything else? I hope we finish this. No? <laughs> Can't finish the fries? No. Yeah. And I want a coconut water because I'm sweating like crazy, so I'm gonna go grab coconut water from 7 Eleven. Zilla, I've just bumped into someone else that knows me as well, and you also do filmography. Would you say filmography? What, what yeah, type of. Videography. Um, I'm from Living Overseas TV, so uh, a lot of our videos concentrate on people who want to live part time, long time, extended travel. So that's what we do on our Yeah, side. nice. So, yeah, someone else doing something that they love to do and trying to help people better their life. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. So yeah, I've sent Nock in to get his coconut water and she'll be back in a minute. The floor is wet everywhere, even in 7-Eleven. There's <laughs> so much dirt. <laughs> she comes to save the day. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have these. And we wanted them because we are so hot. I am sweating balls. So we're going to call it a day there because we're just literally going to drive back. We're going to get soaked in water again. And then yeah, we're going to go to bed, aren't we, dear? Hey, fun, party. <laughs> Our friends have gone out to party. We get an early bedtime, as always, around 8 p.m. And yeah, what I say is, we both actually get way less food than what we normally do because we've been busy doing a lot of things and just been speaking to a lot of people. It's just not been as much time to eat, but it's like it's all good. Some days we eat less, some days we eat more. But this is a day that I have eaten the least calories in quite some time. So yeah, any questions? Leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below. Don't forget to share and subscribe. To receive a lot more videos like this and many other different amazing videos. So stay strong, stay fit, stay energetic, make the most of your day, and be happy. Peace.